Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to do the Twitch effect in Sony Vegas. Obviously this is my second part of my marathon Sony Vegas uh, montage tutorials. Um, so what you want to do is obviously get your clip. Um, I'm going to show you a little preview of the Twitch effect now. Okay, so that was the Twitch effect. So now get your video. I've obviously got mine here. Um, you may have seen this a couple of times. And what you want to do is obviously find your shot, which is about there. Right, okay. Before you do anything, um, I want you to enter your project properties. I want you to go on the stereoscopic 3D mode and change it to red and cyan. Hit apply and OK, and it will change it a bit grey. Um, you can, if you want to change the color, is just add you know your saturation adjust just to boost the color back. <laughs> What you then want to do is obviously get the shot, which is just there. Um, you want to split your clip where you want the twitch to start and where you want it to end. So I'm going to do it just before he pulls. No. There we are. So you want to drag your clip out just to the right hand side and keep it out of the way for a little while. You can get rid of your um, obviously bottom track if you want, your audio track. I'll just get rid of it just for the tutorial's sake. What you want to do is you want to cause the shake effect. Um, so you want to go on event pan crop, and obviously you've got the timeline for that one little clip there. What you want to do is go across one frame and push it in a little like that, so it zooms in, and then go to the next frame, move it, move it about the screen, and then again, and keep doing this all the way along. Um, once I've done it a couple of times, I will just literally just copy and paste it, like I'll show you in a second once I've done two more. Right, like that. So, I'll literally just highlight them all by holding shift and then right click, copy it, and you want to make sure you paste it just after the last frame. Just keep doing this all the way along like that. Once you've done that, just on the last frame, well I'd say about two frames away from your your last edited frame, you just go back to default, like so. So now you have like a shaking effect, um, if I just lower the quality. So now you'll have a shaking effect, like that. Um, now what you want to do is you want to copy this clip, create a, a video track, you want to paste this clip above it, like so, and you can drag this clip back now if you want. Um, with this top clip, we're going to add uh, the stereoscopic 3D adjust. So obviously, go onto um, the video FX and drag down the default onto the top video, and you want to make sure that you set all these vertical offsets to something that's just right for you. So I'm just going to put the quality back up again, like that. So if you play about with the setting, play about with the settings and just obviously find what's right for you. Um, just something like that will do. And obviously you've got the shaking effect and obviously the different colours then. What you then want to do to this top one is fade off like that. And then with that it will get rid of the the colour and obviously um, shaking and stuff like that. So like that. So that's actually just the twitch effect and obviously what you can do then is add your color correction. I have all, obviously all of mine preset um, and obviously you can make it look really good. Um, so obviously the greens and the red stand out there. Um, but that's the twitch effect for today and obviously I will be having uh, part 3 coming out very soon. Um, I'll probably most likely do something like motion tiles in Sony Vegas. So for now guys, thumb this video up, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.